Hey gang, Aaron Fisher here with another episode of the Card Magic Minute. This is my chance to share with you some powerful lessons about card magic that my students are learning when they work with me during the course of my online training program so that you can use these lessons to help push your own card magic forward, uh, which is something that I know we all want to do so much. Now, I get questions on a regular basis from magicians who want to know how to be creative with card magic. And what I try and explain to them all the time is that real creativity with card magic doesn't come most often from just trying to come up with something new. It comes from identifying uh, and recognizing a problem and then trying to find solutions to that problem. So today I thought we'd try a new exercise on the Card Magic Minute, which is to show you an item that one of my mentors, Mr. Larry Jennings, showed me the first time I visited him at his home in Los Angeles in 1996 when I was not even 21 years old. He showed me this fascinating idea with a lot of potential in it, and I saw some elements of that idea that I wanted to work on and later came up with the handling in the paper engine for the same sequence. So what I'm going to do today is show you Larry's sequence. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to discuss it. But you have a chance to think about what Larry did, why he did it, what problems he was solving, and what problems, if any, he left unsolved in his handling. And that will give you a good starting place to figure out what I was working on, which I will show you in the next episode of the Card Magic Minute, so you will see how I took Larry's idea and worked with it and came up with a little something else, and then you'll see how Card Magic moves in that direction. So that said, I'm going to show you a little effect. This is sort of a ad hoc simple effect just designed so that this has got an application to show you. In reality, I want to show you Larry's sequence. Uh, this card, the King of Hearts, has magical properties, which many people might not even recognize. So I have here these four cards that actually didn't come from this deck. They came from my pocket. And you'll notice that because these cards are strange. One of them is the Ace of Hearts. The next one, oh, sorry, Ace of Spades. So that's the Ace of Spades here. The next one is, of course, the Ace of Spades. Not a shocker there. And last but not least, we have the um, Ace of Spades. Now, if I take my King of Hearts, who made some tarts, and just drop it on top of those four Aces of Spades, something very strange happens. You'll see that they actually become four indifferent cards. So that's Larry's sequence, and that's today's episode of the Card Magic Minute. Give it some thought. Watch it. If you have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and send them to me. And then remember, in just a couple days, I'm going to send out my own version of this same concept, which actually appears in the paper engine. So my email is Aaron at AaronFisherMagic.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Aaron Fisher Card, and you can find me on Facebook by typing in Aaron Fisher Sleight of Hand Artist to find my fan page. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for upcoming episodes of the Card Magic Minute, make sure to send them to me, and we will see you really, really soon.